the average person might not believe that their dollar can really have an impact on hunger. And that might be true depending on where they spend their dollar. At McDonald's, you can, for a dollar and 19 cents, get a double cheeseburger, which is a little bit less than half a pound of food. But at a local food pantry, or for one dollar, you can get five pounds of food, which is a little bit more than 13 meals. Your dollar can have an impact on hunger. The question is, how do we help everybody realize that their dollars can have an impact on hunger? My name is Jensen Roll, and I'm the founder of Hope, helping other people eat. Hope is a nonprofit organization fighting hunger by, by providing financial, financial sustain, sustainably financial support. We do this through a certification process with restaurants. By eating at a Hope certified restaurant like the one you see behind me, you will be part of this, this process. When you get your receipt back at the restaurant, like the one this boy is holding here, there will be a slip. On that slip, there will be different facts about hunger. For example, one in five children in the United States of America is food insecure. And that number is even larger in the state of North Carolina. One in four children in the state of North Carolina are food insecure, or 25% of all children in the state of North Carolina. After reading this, you can flip the, or flip the slip over, and on the back you'll have the opportunity to sign, like this woman here is doing, that you would like to donate a dollar or more towards helping other people eat. From here, that money is recorded in their point of sale system, uh, indicated by this cash register, and that money is collected at the beginning of each month by a HOPE representative. From here, 10 to 15 percent is taken out for overhead costs, and the rest goes directly to local food pantries. So this is kind of similar to King's Kitchen. It's not only good food that you're having at King's Kitchen, and the food there is great. I had it last weekend. Uh, it's also something that you're doing in the community. There's social good that's happening while you're eating there. It's the same when you eat at a HOPE certified restaurant. By eating there, not only are you supporting uh, that restaurant and filling your stomach, but you can help fill other stomachs who uh, might not be able to do that on their own. So another image that we like to kind of tell people is that if a food pantry needs $5,000 at the end of the year and five people are giving $1,000 each, that's great. But we want to add in addition to that 5,000 people who are giving $1 each. So that way, it's not only five people who know about hunger, but 5,000 people that know about hunger. And it's not only, uh, or if two people leave that uh, donation, it's not $2,000 leaving, but $2 leaving. So it's much more sustainable. This is not just an idea. Hope is already functioning in Alamance County about two hours from here. We have eight restaurants that are Hope certified, and at this point we've raised $3,000 that's gone directly to local food pantries. In addition to that, we've raised $10,000 in startup funds, which has gone directly to startup costs. I, I came up with this idea because I've been working in food pantries as a volunteer since I was about five years old. I've seen mothers, I've seen families that can't feed themselves, and I've been at food pantries that have had to turn people away because they weren't able to pay for the next person coming in the door. When I turned 12, I started uh, fighting this on my own. I was able to go door to door with friends collecting canned food, and I saw that I could have an impact on hunger. And then, as I grew older, I saw that not all that food was being used. Some of it would go to waste because maybe not everybody likes lima beans, or it just ran out, it's, it expired, and it sat on the shelf and took up space. So when I turned 18, I came up with this idea. And in the last couple of years, I've been working on it to get it to a point where I can pitch it to you today and tell you about it. But I'm not alone. I have a team of 14 people that are helping me. We have lawyers, CPAs, dedicated students, professionals in the field of restaurant industry and other areas, and they're working hard day in and day out to make sure that this is an idea that can really impact not only the state, not only the East Coast, but hopefully one day national, on a national scale. So my question to you would be that if you would like to see hung, er, Hope come to Charlotte, we would love to talk with you after at our table outside, and uh, we would also appreciate if you would visit our website, hopecertified.com, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can see what we're doing, where we're currently at, what cities we're functioning in, and also be a part of us moving forward. Thank you very much.